In this video, I want to show you how to add external MIDI keyboard to your Studio One. MIDI keyboards can be connected to a computer using USB connection or dedicated MIDI connection. We will use USB connection and standard USB cable. So in fact, keyboard is connected as any other USB equipment like printer. Once connected, we have to open external devices in preferences. We click on add new device and check if our keyboard is predefined inside Studio One. There are a couple of M audio devices but my 49 is not here. In this particular case, we have to create new device from general settings. We'll click on add keyboard and name it. It's very important to give it a proper name because this is how you will recall this MIDI device inside Studio One. Next, you choose which MIDI channels this particular device will receive and send signals on. You can have all or you can select only one. The device will receive from itself and send to itself. Leave all these filters unchecked so pitch bend wheel will work. If it's your default instrument input, you can click it here. In my case, it will be my default keyboard. Click OK and you should be done. Studio One is telling you with this tick that it can see your new device. Once you set up your keyboard, you can start using it for your virtual instruments. Let's check it out. In Studio One, we have a couple of virtual instruments. Drum Machine Impact, Since Mai Tai, Mojito and Presence, and Sample Machine called Sample One. Let's say we want to use Drum Machine. Drag and drop Impact and it will create new track. Select the sound and check it. As you can see, the keyboard is now linked to pads in Impact Virtual Instrument. Now we want to create a simple loop. So first, we'll establish the length of the loop. Let's say we have four bar loop. Next, we call record panel, which will allow us to modify recording settings. We have two options. We can record takes or record mix. As we will be recording drum loop, we'll switch it to mix. Once the track is armed, we can start recording. Okay, so three passes and we recorded three instruments. Let's hear it. Right. 
So this is how we record mix. We play one instrument each pass and the recording is mix of these three passes. Now let's create another track by dragging presence into the main window. Choose a sound we like, a piano, and let's do some piano. We can hear it. Now we can also record it. Here we'll switch to takes. So each pass will record dedicated take. Now we have two different takes and we can choose between them. Both these are MIDI tracks, but there is a difference in this lower left corner. As you can see, piano has a small plus where we can switch from take one to take two. You can switch between these takes and you can have totally different takes. So that's the main difference between recording to takes and recording mix. Recording to mix will create from several passes one MIDI file. Recording to takes will keep separate takes and we can switch between them. Horses for courses. Easy, right?